Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. In today's video, I'm very happy to say I have yet another top 1000 global tournament finish to show you guys. I got my top royal tournament finish badge upgraded to level 7. Nice new purple tint at the bottom. I was able to get 27 wins this GT, so this is my third top 1k finish on this account in the GT in a row. I think I've gotten like one every month this year so far, pretty much. But yeah, I had some nice games with 300x cycle, of course. Ever since Tesla buff, been doing very well as well. And I was able to finish number 324 in the world, so really not bad um not gonna beat my 299 finish on this account uh last gt i got number 65 finish not gonna beat that either but still very happy of course to get another gt finish on this account and upgrading the badge every month essentially so there's my new level 7 badge doesn't match my level 6 ladder anymore but still a very nice badge and so in today's video i'll be showing you guys the final games that got me this gt finish so if you guys do enjoy the video please make sure to like and subscribe let me know what you think about this type of content and let's get right into the matches Alright guys, in our game against Eagle's Eye, he's a number 20 GT finish, so he should be a pretty decent player. Gonna give him the good luck as he gives it back, just gonna split archers, and it's been so long since I made a video, but I've just been so busy this week with my university, honestly, first week of classes, and it's been pretty hectic, like, actually pretty busy classes, and lots of workload, honestly, more than I expected. Um, like, it's honestly manageable, but it's just, you know, of course more than I expected, and I know university is supposed to be hard, but wow, like, it's gonna be a lot of hard work, I think, so. Anyway, looks like he's playing Splash Yard after seeing Knight, Baby Dragon, Ice Wiz. I don't really see anything else it could be, so it should be a really good matchup. Pretty excited for this matchup. Although this guy does have a pretty good GT finish, so he should be a decent player. I'm just going to fireball the tombstone. Something I do in this matchup all the time, guys, is I fireball the tombstones. If you watch SK's Expo Guide Episode 3 on my second channel, you would have seen like a really nice analysis against uh, Splash Yard, where I just fireballed all the time. I think I'm just going to split archers, honestly. I could also Tesla, but I feel like split archers is safer. And so I don't always like splitting archers in this matchup, especially if they're about to go for a graveyard, but I feel like it's pretty safe. And I'm just going to go for a high Tesla right now. Snipe the Ice Wiz. Okay, never mind. Um, but uh, Tesla does well in this matchup too, especially after the buff. Oh, he's definitely going to graveyard with this. Yeah, because I don't have archers, so I have to cycle back to my archers very quickly. Nice. Shouldn't really take any graveyard damage, honestly. That was a really nice rapid cycle back. And, yeah, he did go for an aggressive graveyard, but I think it was fair, because I, I mean, he had a good punish on my cycle. And nice, that doesn't splash the tower. So I'm going to go for an expo right now. He was pretty aggressive. I'll log last second, maybe catch him off guard. Yeah, he's not ready for this. So that's going to be a lock, and that's going to be very nice. Like, at least 500 damage, I think. I believe he just went barb barrel as well. So, guys, a big thing in this matchup, if they cycle a barb barrel early... Um, you can punish with an expo and then they have to go like knight poison, which doesn't actually full counter at all because usually it's like knight poison barb barrel That's gonna full counter but without the barb barrel. It's actually huge And so yeah, we're already up like 1.7k again You made the mistake of giving me a free fireball on the tombstone plus weak side tower like the good splashered players never really give me that So, you know, I will take that and he goes for a barb barrel as well Just gonna ice spirit and then defensive expo in the middle Don't think the lane really matters this time because he's gonna poison either way And I'm actually really fine with him poisoning in the left or in the right because i'm actually really fine going same lane as him like okay smart tombstone finally switching it up but yeah like he can poison in the right all he wants because eventually i'm going to start going defensive x was in the left and then he can't really do anything about it so this damage is really inconsequential to me at least and i can also definitely get a counter push like potentially yeah poison cycle again now i might just fireball his tower to be honest um because He's poison cycling, like, there's no risk at all. And that's, honestly, I haven't really counted the number, but that's, like, like X amount of fireballs, basically, and he's gonna lose his tower. Okay, nice tornado attempt, but not gonna work on the archers, so that's gonna be a fail, and I can always just fireball tower again here, because if he poisons, like, I can literally just fireball tower, I'm fairly certain, but I think it's safer to defensive expo first, just because, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm up elixir necessarily. Now a fireball tower because I forced out a poison, and, that, and then he can't kill my archers on the graveyard. Like say he goes baby dragon graveyard to punish right now, I'll just like knight to block archers. You know, standard. Gonna pre-cycle archers. He's three off poison right now, so he really can't do much. Like honestly, once you're in a really good position like this against graveyard, if you know what you're doing, that you're never really gonna get like any uh, issues. Like you're never gonna get any problematic positions anymore because. You just know how to play in every instance. Yeah, again, match the poisons with a fireball. And I wouldn't play like this, guys, if I wasn't up so much damage. If I wasn't up, I'd be going for expos right now. Maybe in the left as well to not go same lane. But because I'm up, I can afford to play like this. Not going to defensive expo. He's probably going to go for an aggro graveyard. Plus, it's like about to hit triple. So, yeah, I'm just going to chill. 
you know, just Tesla Knight, try and win the bridge battle, back to a second Tesla soon. I'll uh, pre-archers, honestly, he can poison if he wants, and if he poisons, he basically can't graveyard for a while, because he's low on elixir. Uh, Knight as well, and then I'm, I'm like, really cycling back to my uh, archers fast. Beautiful fireball as well. Guys, don't be afraid to go for fireballs on defense. As you can see, I'm already back to my new pair of archers, and if he wants to poison these, same thing, I'm just winning the bridge battle over and over. And also, you don't need archers to full defend a graveyard, you can go like knight, skeletons, ice spirit, or like log, um, and it does a trick, you need a log with it, like don't try without a log, but it does work with a log, and now I just bridge block and fireball. Nice win against the number 20 GT finisher, good matchup though as I said, but yeah, I'll give him the well played and good luck in the rest of the GT. Very nice first win. Alright guys, for our next game against Prince Ukraine, uh, I guess UA means Ukraine, uh, I'm going to Ice Spirit to start things off, and Barbarrel, okay, just going to split skeletons, could be another Splashyard matchup potentially, which I would definitely welcome, but Barbarrel could be a lot of things, so you know, nothing's off the table yet, okay, he's actually just not doing anything, so... In this position, guys, don't be afraid to expo, especially because I have split archers, like, it's totally safe. I'm gonna knight in front, and we do... I'm gonna log to retarget the exe onto the knight. We should get a nice lock, and he goes for a nato. Oh, beautiful, that didn't... Oh, never mind, I splashed, okay, I, I thought it didn't... If that didn't splash the expo, he would have lost the game, because that would have been a lot of damage, but... It's okay. We still got, like, 200. Gonna ice spirit in front, and... There should be a decent, like, pressure option. Okay, Skeleton won't get any hits, but guys, that's a really fun thing. Like, Ice Spirit plus Skeletons, you actually get Skeleton damage if you do it at, like, the perfect timing. I see Titan do it all the time, um, when he plays through Pernod, at least. But just gonna split Archers again, and he has Valk Exe, so, like, a Barb Barrel. So he has, like, a weird Zap. Okay, what? I'm gonna Expo on the left, and probably just Tesla. Uh, I was gonna say Knight, but I think Tesla makes more sense because of the Exe. Oh, he's probably gonna Exe in the middle, like... To snipe the Tesla plus X, we'll have to catch that. Um, okay, Prince. Okay, he has a really weird deck. I'm gonna log, and then I think Ice Spirit to break the Exe. Okay, beautiful prediction. Skeletons to distract off to the side, keep my Expo alive, and that's gonna be a really nice lock. I'm gonna Knight to catch this Bar Barrel, because Expo is alive, and Knight will counter push. He goes Zap. Gonna Archers at the bridge as well, just to pressure, because he, I think he just went Bar Barrel. He actually can't really do anything for this. Like, he has to Valk or Exe. At that point, it'll be too late. Yeah, beautiful punish, and that's gonna be GG, because he had no Elixir for the Valk, so just tower down. Nice punish and single and yeah good game like i don't even know what he's playing to be honest but honestly guys if you know their deck and you have like the perfect play style with expo you can do this in single it's so fun and really nice also guys just wanted to say i have started my expo coaching again i'll just be up front it's 30 us per hour because i am busy and i can't really afford to like do it for cheaper like i mean i can but it would just like my time is honestly worth that much if not more i would say I'm um, not even trying to be arrogant, just, like, truthful. But uh, I've had a lot of people, you know, like, learning Expo, and I've had a lot of new clients recently, and they said, like, it's it feels like a really uphill battle, you know, is Expo meant to be this hard? And honestly, guys, like, if you're watching this and you're new to Expo, or even if you've been playing for a while, you'll know as well as I do, like, yes, it is very much an uphill battle. It's a difficult deck to play and master. Like, don't get me wrong, it's not going to be, like, anything easy. It's just going to be... Something that you have to commit to, but it's very worth it, because as you guys can see, like, in a matchup like this, where it's, like, you know, a mid-ladder weird deck, if you have the right punish in single, you just win in single, to be honest, so... He suddenly didn't let me get the second crown, which does matter for tiebreaker, but still, you know, nice win. I'll give him the good luck in his future matches, Prince Ukraine, and that is still going to be a pretty nice win overall. I actually don't know what that was. Like, he didn't have a win con, or maybe I just didn't really let him go for his win con at all. Let's find out, I guess. Okay, Q time, or not even Q time, just this... Loading screen is taking like 10 years. I don't know why I'm not really lagging per se. Okay, there we go. 22 and 1, by the way, so really nice start. And that's gonna be okay. Graveyard Zap. What? All right, guys, for game is Wise Ultimate. Oh, I know this guy. He's a good player. I'm uh, gonna give him the good luck. And he's I forgot what he plays, but I've played him like on like top ladder before. I think in GTs too. Okay, Ice Spirit. Yeah, another cycle deck. Gonna split archers. And this is gonna be. A tough match, honestly, because, again, he is a good player. I recognize him, so let's see what we can do. Gonna Expo to start things off, and he goes for an Ice Golem and then a Hog. Okay, I'll Knight. Uh, fireballs. Okay, honestly, I'll Log. Okay, didn't get the right timing off, but, like, sometimes you get that nice Log. You can keep your Expo alive and get a really nice punish, potentially. Oh, Knight will kill the Ice Spirit because it's frozen by mine. Yes, we go for Skeletons. Okay, yeah, there's no point predicting that, but imagine if I did... 
Um, but yeah, it's 2.6, guys. Oh, God. Okay, 2.6 is not going to be fun. I actually really hate this matchup, but I'd say I'm getting better at it. I've beaten it like three times this GT so far. So, you know, not too bad. And I'm going to Expo again. Looks like I'm up Elixir. He goes for a Log Cycle. Yeah, I'm going to Expo um, and see what he wants to do. I think, like, Expo and Single is okay because, I mean, if you're playing, like, over-defensive in this matchup, then you're giving them the opportunity to... Uh, outcycle you. That's gonna be a small lock, by the way. Yeah, like 200. Not bad at all. And then he has to go Ice Spirit for the night as well, so nice. And notice, like, because of my Expo pressure, he hasn't gone for any aggressive hogs yet, and, like, what 2.6 players love to do in this matchup against you as an Expo player is they like to just spam hogs and go, like, outcycle your Tesla and just hog at the bridge. Like, they go literally a 2.6 player. Like, I've seen them go, like, Ice Golem, Skeletons, Ice Spirit, like, all in the span of two seconds. I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And they just like to outcycle you. So yeah, I'm going to Expo on the right this time. I'm just switching lanes every time to be unpredictable. And he's going to... I'm going to Knight in front of the left. This time I'm going to try something fancy. Skelly's for the Hog. And then Log. Maybe no second hit. Okay, beautiful. Nice. That's exactly what I was talking about. This might be a lock right here. Because Knight Archer's going crazy. Okay, back to new Ice Golem. But this is already a good position for me. Because he's like definitely low. And he's like... I think that Knight Archer was a really nice play, honestly. Now I can split Archers again. And I'm really chilling, because I feel like this position is so good for me. Yeah, I'm up Elixir. I'm just going to keep going in. Oh, he predicted this time. Well played. Uh, I could Fireball that, to be honest. But yeah, he's playing 2.6. As you guys can see, he went like a Skeleton's Ice Spirit. Like, a Fireball last second wouldn't have been smart. So I'll give him the well played. You know, he predicted, and he, like... Per, uh, he like was ready for my potential aggro fireball because I love going for fireballs like those. Um, but he's played against me before as well. He knows my playstyle. I'm gonna expo archers for the musky and then skeletons now. Wasn't predicting right away because I thought he wouldn't really too aggressive. Ice spirit. Okay, nice hog. Uh, per, or log rather on my skelly. He's gonna log anyways though. And archer will get some hits in the left. No, he has to ice spirit. But we're still in the lead right now, by the way. So this is really not bad. Good night the back. Night the back is a very solid play. Notice, guys, I don't think I've had to go for a single test on the middle so far. Because I'm just playing, like, really aggro in a smart way. I'm going to Ice Spirit and get back to a log for this musky. And then a new knight as well to protect my one archer. And I can probably expo. Okay, uh, that's a fireball right there on that cannon. And then knight archer's going crazy in the left. Like, this is a good position. He fireballs back. That's an expo. He still has to defend this knight archer. I feel like he's in, he's in a really bad position now. I should probably get a lock if I play this well. So I'm going to log. Hopefully kill the ice golem early. Have to get ready to catch like a musky. He might try and get away with a musketeer. Or just a hog. Fireballs, that's a lock. Fireball log, okay. Expo again. He's down elixir right now. Knight for the cannon. He can't let him get away with that same cannon as last time. Archer's in the middle. And then I have to convert this position. If I don't, I feel like I might not win the game. Because triple elixir this is definitely their matchup. Gonna log. Ice spirit skeletons. Back to another expo as well. So I can expo in the right potentially. I'll fireball, actually. I need the fireball damage. If he fireballs back, that's going to be a lock. Yeah, he had to log. So we get another lock. Okay, that's GG. If I just play this triple perfectly, since I'm up 500, I feel like this is not a great matchup. Yeah, he fireballs. Okay. I'm going to have to do something nice. I'm going to defensive expo, anti-fireball placement, and then pressure in the right so that I can force out a fireball. I'll fireball back as well. He's just he's playing well. He's mass cycling, but I'm going to do the same. Spell cycle on the left, pressure in the right, expo right now, and... I have a lot of pressure. Like, this is a free fireball if he wants to take it, but he's not going too smart. I'm going to fireball back again and just keep pressuring with this expo. If he ever goes for a hog, I have, like, my cycle cards in hand. Okay, he goes hog there. Going to log. Ice Spirit as well. If he doesn't get anything down, that's a lock. Expo again in the middle. And then I have to get some fireballs down this time. Night to catch. Good catch. Fireball tower. And then I'm, I'm still up, but it's actually, like, the lead is getting closed in his favor, so I have to get a second fireball down. Okay, there's no way he's going to get two more fireballs. I think he can only get one more. So I get a fireball log, he gets one more fireball, and that's GG. I win by a fireball, or by a log, actually. So, two logs. Anyway, really beautiful game against 2.6. Picture perfect, except I think that punish could have been better in triple, because I was up 500, he converted down to this. But as I said, it's their matchup for sure. But, we're able to win against a really good player. Like, let me check his profile. I'm pretty sure he's a good player, guys, so I'm really proud of that win, honestly. Because, yeah, that wasn't the easiest, and I had to play well, but I'm used to 2.6 at this point. I don't like the matchup, so matchups I don't like, I practice against and I get better at. So, yeah, look at that, guys. 42 GT, top 200 ladder. I think with 2.6 as well, like, he's a really good player, so very happy and proud of that win. Alright, guys, into our next game against... Okay, sex is how I'm going to pronounce that, but, like, not what you think. Um, 
I'm just gonna cycle a log first play, and honestly, this GT's been really chill so far. Like, I haven't really taken many losses. Also, um, I've noticed, like, GTs are so fun right now because there are no evolutions, and just Evos kind of make the game unbalanced, so I feel like GTs are so fun because it's like the old state, you know? If you're gonna Ice Spirit, he goes for the Golden Knight, gonna Knight in front as well. Nice catch. And I could skellies. Actually, I should I should have skellies. I, I I'm gonna let it go now because I already make these decisions, like before, uh, the interaction happens. Like, well, am I gonna let it go or not? Oh, uh, skellies now. I guess like okay, yeah. Actually, if I didn't if I didn't save skellies, could have gone for a freeze there. Could have been dicey. So I think actually what I did was good. Like no point being too aggressive. Um, you have three spectators right now because he was that's a free fireball right there. And honestly, like this is looking. Decent. This looks like Graveyard Freeze, which I think if he has Bowler in here, like, it's going to be really annoying. Oh, he does. Okay. It's not that good of a matchup, in my opinion, because he has Bowler, Golden Knight, but still a good matchup because he has Freeze, not Poison, so I think Defense Texas will go crazy. Tesla will go crazy. Also, guys, on the note of the Tesla buff, like, it's really clutch, especially in these matchups, because that Tesla hit speed does matter, and they can't really kill Teslas. Okay, he's going to eye drag summon a Knight. Ice Spirit as well, before he goes Golden Knight Dash, hopefully. Nice, great Ice Spirit. And I'm going to Archers as well. I'm going to try and get a huge lock right now. Um, okay, I tried to go Skellies, didn't come down, but there should still be a lock. Nice lock, and he has to NATO if he wants to take this out. He's not going to NATO. Okay, he didn't NATO. He should have NATO'd. That's going to be GG, I think, if I don't choke, because that's 1.4k damage, a free lead. 1.5k, actually. Like, 1.45, you know, one point. Yeah, like 3,052 minus 1598. Gonna, why is he giving me another fireball? I actually don't understand at all. Um, but I'll take it. Bowler. Defensive Expo, I think, is the play against the bowler. I think maybe opposite lane might have been better, actually, because he might go for a graveyard freeze, and I can't go archers like in the same corner. But I'll go for a tassel like this, honestly. Yeah, there's the graveyard. Going to split everything. Knight up high, so he can't dash onto everything, too. And he's going to freeze in a sec. He goes for the Nato. Okay, he goes for a Gold Knight Nato instead of the Freeze, which is fine. I'm going to take no damage. And I can Expo again. Good pressure. I have a Debo alive. I have Archers alive. I think I should Fireball that, honestly, because even if I don't get a lock, I just get Fireball damage. I'm going to Tesla. And Ice Wizard should be on the Expo. No, it's on the Tesla. Beautiful. This is a really good pressure situation for me. He has to go Gold Knight Dash. And then... Oh, I should have Ice Spirited, but I can Ice Spirit for the E was now an Expo again. I think he's back to Bowler, so a bit annoying. I'm going to Knight as well. Okay, I don't think I Fireball this time. Or maybe I do just to get the damage, but I'm down Elixir like compared to last time. Okay, I'll like Skelly's Tesla for the Eye Drag, and then I Oh, that's a Fireball. This might be a lock right here, please. And, okay, beautiful. He has to Freeze. That has to be GG, right? Oh, Ice Spirit. Um, Archers. Oh, he goes Nato. Okay, not the best archers, but yeah, that's GG. Like, come on, that's two fireballs. Yeah, an archer connect. Okay, beautiful game. That was pretty much my game the whole game, guys. I didn't let him go for, like, a single graveyard except one. At the one time he did, he didn't even get to freeze with it. He should have, but... Yeah, beautiful game. Pre pretty much picture perfect, I think, against splash yard freeze. Like, graveyard freeze, splash yard, whatever. 24 and 1. Really nice start. Like, this is a great start. Alright, guys, intro next game against TCH. Um, gonna give him good luck. See what's up right here. I'm gonna go for my split skeletons and then split archers. Sadly, no expo in cycle. Expo's eighth. So, oh, I would that would have been a perfect expo, like expo opposite to the eye drag. Damn. I'll knight in front instead, I think, and then see what he wants to do exactly. I could fireball something. Eye drag, barbell. Oh, it's the same matchup, I think. Um, wait, no, it could be lumberloon actually. Uh, Knight might get one hit, by the way. Like, that would be pretty chill. Yeah, Knight, one hit, actually two hits? Let's go. And then Log, like, I'm already up, like, 450. <laughs> so, I'll do the same thing. Split Archers, something that my friend taught me, guys, is that it's usually good to Expo after you split Archers. Instead of, like, just straight up Expo and then, like, have Archers in your hand. Like, Split Archers is nice. Gonna Ice Spirit to retarget this Bowler. And Knight, no bowling on the Expo. And that's going to be a lock, because that bowler's only got one more hit. Nice lock. And that's going to be GG, guys. We just beat Lumberloon. I'm just beating everyone in single, honestly. This is a really nice feeling. He's angry. He gives a sarcastic well-played and laugh. Um, but, I mean, up 1.5k, so I don't really care what his emotions are, like his anger or annoyance. Honestly, guys, something you have to do <laughs> as Expo, I'm going to say the good game, and he's mad. Something that you should do, if they start spamming emotes and they're mad, 
and just like gives funny like sarcastic emotes back i'm gonna say good game again because he has to barbell he has no ground card in cycle i think he does now he's back to bowler but he didn't before so i know for a fact he was panicking cycling anyway gonna ice spirit for this beautiful ice spirit on both that's gg <laughs> like it's over he has to freeze and that's not even enough i can go skeletons to tank and then that's another lock and we just destroyed lumber loon in single guys gonna arches as well to dps down this eye drag and i think all he can do right now is maybe try and get me with a lumber loon opposite but i think i'm fine like i knight late tesla double will bail me out like we just beat two freeze matchups in single beautiful okay i think he okay yeah as i said exactly what i tell you guys he was gonna do lumber loon opposite lane just a free tesla ice spirit once a loon approaches the middle nice and then that's going to be a very nice uh defense as you guys can see flawless defense no damage taken on either of my towers i think the other one was like a nato or something anyway gonna defensive expo against the bowler i debo because if you tesla the bowler like it's just weird anyway tesla now nice spacing as well guys tesla is not going to get uh splashed by the e-drag like in conjunction with the expo he's giving good luck he's definitely mad i'll say good game again just to make him even more mad like honestly because if they're mad they keep spamming emotes they're not focusing on the game itself right and then if you make them even more mad they start playing even worse like maybe it's disrespectful maybe it's aggressive but i mean if they start emoting first i have no remorse like there's a lumber loon anyway he okay maybe he's being a good sport anyway good luck i'll give him the good game okay no he's not he's spamming good luck and Okay, Ice Spirit, whatever. Ice Spirit's always like a nice emote. One of my favorites of all time. 25 and 1. This is like a flawless star, guys. This is beautiful, honestly. One of my best starts in a while, I think, in the GT. So we take those. Very nice stuff. All right, into our next game against... I don't know how you're supposed to say this guy's name. I think he's a Russian player. But I'll give him good luck. Split Skeletons. As he doesn't do anything, I'm just going to Expo. You know what? YOLO. Let's see what he does. Ice Wiz. Baby Dragon. Okay, Splash Shirt again. Fireball, and that's going to be a lock. Nice lock. Valk. Oh, it's going to be Graveyard Freeze. Okay. All night. Valk is not going to be... Uh, wait. Wait, actually, it could still be Splash Yard with a Valk in there. Um, but Ice Wiz, Baby Dragon, like Valk. It looks like that Splash Yard Freeze version. Like, not the Golden Knight Bowler one, but the Valk Bowler one, which I low-key think is actually worse, like, for me. Because Golden Knight's annoying once, but it's a champion. You can outcycle it. And also, they usually go for bad Golden Knights, or like, random Golden Knight NATOs. Valk, they can cycle multiple tanks, so it's a pain. Anyway, I drag, yup, it's that, it's that deck. I'm gonna Expo Tesla, probably, because I just want to win in single. Like, I don't like this matchup, honestly. It's not, like, amazing. Okay, nice, we caught him. He's gonna Bar Barrel. He has a Bar Barrel, right? Like, okay, Bar Barrel also makes it worse, by the way, because that other guy didn't have a Bar Barrel, I think. That's a lock, though. They can just Skellies for the I drag. Ice Spirit in front of the Archer as well to pressure. He has to respond with, say, a Valk or Ice Wiz, and that Expo is going to go crazy, so, honestly, this should be GG, but I could choke, because I feel like this matchup is very chokeable, like, one Graveyard Freeze where they catch you lacking, and it's over. Anyways, though, his cycle right now, is Valk, I Drag, Graveyard, I think he has Freeze, he didn't Freeze, right, so, I'll Expo, say he cycles a Valk, he loses, but, okay, he just cycles a Valk in the right spot, oh yeah, I forgot he had a Baby Dragon as well, I'll Archers to DPS, Log as well, catch him off guard potentially. And lock. Nice lock. Small lock, but everything counts. Skeletons, Ice Spirit. Okay, Ice Spirit didn't come down. Guys, if you do skeletons on time, like if it went earlier, that would have tanked two baby dragon hits. So, okay, gets. Yeah, that's really bad actually. He got three baby dragon hits for that. Like that minor micro mistake might have cost me a lot. Because I want to go same lane as him, but. Okay, I'll fireball the eye drag against my better judgment because I just want the damage. Tesla. He's definitely going to go for a graveyard right now. Like, I don't see any reason not to. Or, okay, even worse, like, he just bridge spamming, which is really smart. Like, this guy knows what he's doing. He's twenty. He's at 25 wins, too, in the GT. Like, he's high up. Pretty sure this is already a secured top 1k finish, by the way, guys. Like, 25, because this is a short GT. Only four days long. I'm going to offensive or defensive expo. Um, because, yeah, he has eye dragon cycle. If I went offensive, eye drag would have gone crazy. Didn't want to deal with that. So, all night archers. He has to freeze with the graveyard. I'll hover my log for the freeze nice free cleanup and then archers will clean up the rest of the graveyard now i think i can expo ice spirit to make sure the boulder doesn't splash tower and that is an offensive expo because debo is still alive as well he should be decent he has to bowler tesla for the bowler and uh bowler's getting oh my god so much value but all night as well now he has only ice whiz and cycle for ground troops um ice spirit to retarget the baby dragon hopefully get a lock 
No, he gets Ice Whiz down. Okay, this is really bad, actually. I overcommitted to that expo. I have nothing good in cycle. I don't have my Tesla. I have to, like, get back to it, like, with these awkward archers. But he's closing the lead, and this is what I don't like. Like, I want to go same lane, because, I mean, he doesn't even have a big spell. I don't feel comfortable fireballing that, to be honest. I feel like I'm down too much elixir to do that, so I'm going to Debo instead. I could fireball the bowler, I think. Like, maybe, yeah, that's maybe that's a move. I'm feeling the bowler fireball. And I'm up 1k, but, like, because one good graveyard freeze, as I said, is just going to be a pain. I want to save my log, because in case he goes for a graveyard, my good protection of the defensive expo. Yeah, there's the freeze. I have to log. Okay, well, oh my god, he got such good RNG in the corner. Wait, that's going to be so much damage. No, oh my god, wait. That's so bad. Uh, oh my god, because I went archers. I should have logged, like, one over to the left, I guess, but that was just really unlucky RNG, because so many spawned in that corner. Oh my gosh, I think this is bad. I'm going to fireball the... I drag plus Valk. That should full clean it up. I have to offensive expo. I have to pressure. Um, he's going to bowler. And I have to let it go. I'll ice spirit to make sure this baby dragon doesn't take my tower. That should full defend. Tesla against the baby dragon should full defend. He freezes. Okay, it's still alive. Why is it still alive? Um, this is really not good, guys. And I have to start spell cycling. Defensive expo. Okay, bowler splashes it. Of course it does. I'll Tesla. And just try and win this bridge battle. I have to get like one more fireball on tower while defending a graveyard perfectly. If that's even possible. Archers. Okay, I drag I have to fireball this and then log. Pre-log for the freezed graveyard. Um, I spirit. Okay, wait. Wait, that was such a good tornado. Oh my god, no. That tornado won in the game. No way. I wasn't ready for it at all. Okay, well played. He got two baby dragon hits. For oh my gosh, okay. I lost by, how much did I lose? By 30, 40, oh my god, he played well, like, it sucks though, because that's a good matchup, I shouldn't be losing that, that's completely on me, 75 damage, god, okay, that's on me, my bad guys, but really well played to him, good tornado at the end, I respect it. Okay, into our next game against Huseo, Hueso Lamar, getting him the good luck, and see what's up here, I'm 25, and... Three, I think, because losses are losses. But I'm going to knight the back. Okay, goes for a minor. I'll just ice spirit for it. And then I'll just expo, to be honest. Like, I don't really care. Because I have a knight coming down. Why not? And ice golem. Oh, I hate this matchup. Okay. Um, I'm going to fireball the balloon. And that's going to be a decent fireball. So, what's he? Is he just playing, like, minor balloon cycle? Skeletons. I play. I beat Lumber, I beat Minor Loon Cycle for 20 wins. I played really well, so I'm. And my friend taught me a bit more about this matchup. Plus, I've been talking to like good expo players about it, so I feel like my knowledge in this matchup should be pretty solid, honestly. So I think I feel like I'm okay. Oh, he has archers. What? Okay, I'm just gonna split archers. And see what he wants to do. Goes for his ice goal. I'm gonna knight. And then this should be like. A decent position. He has archer instead of musketeer, which like helps and hurts. Okay, he has arrows. That's really not good. In the skeletons, and then um, that's gonna easy defend. And then I'm gonna expo. I could Tesla. I think I'll Tesla because if he goes balloon, loon will go to the Tesla. My friend taught me that. Yeah, as you guys can see, if you get it down, perfect timing. Loon goes to the Tesla. He does have archers to bail him out though. Hopefully, ice spirit freezes in time. No. Could have been so much more damage, honestly. But yeah, that's what I was talking about, guys. Like, if you know they're if you know they're gonna balloon and they don't go like ice golem opposite, they don't have ice golem and cycle. That Tesla goes crazy, especially with an ice spirit. I think that full counters the balloon, but you have to do it super early. If you do it late, reactively, it actually won't take out the uh, loon in time. But this is a bad matchup, honestly, because he has arrows like lum minor loon cycle. Honestly, I'd rather go against muskets here than archers as well, because archers are just annoying. Like. And he has arrows, so this is definitely not a good matchup. But I'll try my best. I'm gonna split archers. He goes for a ice golem. I'm just gonna fireball, to be honest. Like, screw it. And that's actually a free fireball because that was a three and a half elixir worth. Like that was good. Hit the one archer as well. Okay, bad minor arrows. Really aggressive. I'm gonna go expo right now. That was so aggressive by him. Like this has to be a good punish. Ice spirit for the loon. And no way he gets like a hit for that, right? Okay. Wow, he actually got a hit for that. Okay, this game is over. I think. Like unless I get a big punish here. Okay, Tesla does catch the miner, but we get a lock actually. But he has he has arrow snowball to bail him out. Like, why did his? Okay, I should have gone ice spirit for the balloon, man. Like that was such a good punish by me. It's just that I didn't execute the defense perfectly because I had to de defend the balloon as well. Um, gonna expo again though. Ice spirit, fireball the ice golem. Okay, that was a bit too aggro, but it's chill. Okay, he goes for a miner on the expo. That's really good. He wants the expo dead. 
That was a bad minor. He didn't need that at all. Um, Loon shouldn't get a hit, so... Honestly, this position is okay, but really risky, because he has arrows. Like, it's bad. Maybe I should pre-Tesla, but... Okay, I'm just going to Expo. I feel like I should get a good punish here. Ice Golem. Okay, going to Tesla for the Balloon. And I straight... Okay, goes minor on the Expo again. Going to Archers for the Balloon as well. Tesla should do work. Should stay alive, actually. No, it doesn't, because he has arrows. Um... I think I expo... Okay, I tower. That's not in range of the expo. That's a... Uh, yeah, I, I can just tell by looking. So that's going to be another nice expo. I'll log this last second, catch him off guard. Um, Tesla, Ice Spirit, and then this should be a decent punish. Archers for the Ice Golem. Okay, he goes Loon opposite. I have to get back to another... No, I actually can't get back to another Tesla. I have to Fireball. Okay, he, lo he won. I have to, like, Tesla last second. It won't... Yeah, oh no, okay. That's annoying, honestly, that's frustrating, but bad matchup. I'll move on to the next game. You guys found game against Jacqueline Loves Hosue. He's playing Pekka, I think, so if he's playing Pekka, this is a really good matchup for me. Um, because Pekka Bridge Bam is Pekka Bridge Bam. Like, I always talk about this. Okay, goes Marcher. I'm gonna get ready to fireball that Marcher. Goes, yeah, I'll fireball it, and then Skeletons last second. Low key, I could get a lock right here. Ice Spirit as well. Yeah, I think I got a lock, guys. No way. Because he cycled a zap. Good, really good punish on the zap. Like, honestly, there's a thing with Expo. Like, if they cycle an E-Wiz or a zap, you can probably get a lock in single. And that's going to be GG, to be honest. Like, I think. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, what's he going to do about it? That's 1,000 damage. Uh, or 1,000 HP left. I'll log it and take the bandit charge. No point wasting archers, I think. Because, especially because, uh, oh, beautiful log as well. Didn't think... That would kill. I thought it would be like one bandit, one HP bandit alive, but I take it. So, yeah, because I think like in this matchup, if they cycle a zap, they actually can't retarget your expo, nor can they do anything about your skeletons on the expo. Especially because he pre cycled a marcher, he couldn't afford an E Wiz in time, I think, so that was just a really good expo. Um, and Tesla does full counter a ram, by the way, at least I'm fairly certain it does. Gonna expo opposite again to the marcher and try and get another punish here. Pack of the bridge, fair enough. Gonna archers skeletons and maybe i can get him again ice spirit okay no i can't actually if i logged i could have done something sneaky but it's fine i want to defend the marcher so it's good. okay i'll just log i want to save my knight for the ghost so i don't want to mess up my cycle guys so notice that like in this matchup ghost is problematic so you usually do want to save your knight for it just take note of that because um ghost kind of goes crazy and Especially if you don't have a knight for it. It just... It, it messes up your cycle. Gonna X-Way to Rick to 4 Luxor in the back. Okay, he goes 3. He can uh, P.E.K.K.A. in time, but... Okay, he actually doesn't. So this might be a lock. Um, actually, I think he's gonna defend this. I think, he, I think he's fine. But hopefully, I can do some BS. Okay, gonna... Ice Spirit does jump. Gonna log. Wait, this should be something. Okay, he goes Marcher. Okay, good Marcher. Um, actually, didn't even need it for the Expo, but just good Marcher overall. Gonna let it go. Because I can afford to take damage in this lane. And then Expo again. I just want to take the win, guys. Like, I'm frustrated from those losses. So, Archers. Knight for the P.E.K.K.A. Like, the Loon guy, he didn't even play that well, honestly. He played so aggro. I don't feel good about that loss. Like, he... I should... I, I, it was definitely on me for not playing well. The Graveyard guy, I feel better about that loss. Because I played really well. Just, he he outplayed me in triple. He had a really nice meta with the Baby Dragon. Uh, if I Fireball, that might have been a lock. But still going to try and get a lock here. And he has, actually hasn't had enough elixir for P.E.K.K.A. in a fat minute, so this has been a good pressure. Like, he has to zap. Okay, I can expo again. But should I, though? Yeah, I will. You know what? Whatever. I'm just going to keep pressuring. Like, this is not how you're supposed to play the matchup. Like, if you want to win early, or if you want to win, like, well. If you want to win well, you just play, like, a bit defensive until you have a good position. He overcommits. Then you expo and pressure, but now I'm just constantly expoing. It's honestly working out kind of well. Ice Spirit for the P.E.K.K.A. Nice retarget after the log. And that is going to be another expo, in my personal opinion. So I'll just expo again. Goes for a ghost. I'll knight in front. I'll eat the entire marcher. And Okay, I'll log. Really good log value, actually, on the marcher plus ram. He goes for a fireball, so that's really good. I can kite these out of range. Ice spirit out of range. Archers for the bandit, and please, lock. He went zap, right? No, he just goes zap. Okay. I have to take the bandit. I have to take the bandit this time. Because can't afford to overcommit. Okay, maybe I should chill on the Expos, honestly. Like, okay, now I'm going to do what I, you're actually supposed to do in this matchup, which is Tesla. Yeah, he thought I was going to Expo, so he went Knight the Back, or Ghost the Back, but... Okay, I think Offense Expo is the play here. Uh, actually, my, his tower is full HP, never mind. If it was, like, lower, then yeah, but... 
honestly, I'm fine defensive x booing. And I'm just going to tr go to five minutes, guys. Like, I honestly, I won this game in single with that really nice early lock. But whether you win the game, like, you win the game when the game is over, right? So even if you have such a good lead in single, you shouldn't be in a rush to win. And that's kind of what I was doing this game. Like, I mean, honestly, it was fine. But uh, I don't think, like, it really... Like, I could have won earlier, I feel like, if I didn't just keep spamming Expos. Anyway, Expo on the right, just to force Elixir out, because I have a Tesla up as well. So I'm not too worried about the P.E.K.K.A., honestly. Ram, thankfully, doesn't bypass. He does get a free plus three on the Expo, because he went Bandit. Just Bandit, but it's fine, because he went for a Fireball as well. Now I'll Debo to punish the Fireball, and he can't do anything about it. And I just don't take 1,000 damage. Literally, if I take 900 damage, I win. So, just have to defend this final push. Don't even need to Fireball Tower. I can, like, fireball on defense. I'll fireball the marcher. I need to protect the Tesla. Uh, good fireball on the Tesla, but I'm I'm prepared. Yeah, GG. Nice win against Pekka. As I said, guys, that's a really easy matchup, but, I mean, I'll give him the well played. He is a good player, I can tell, because, number one, he's this high with Pekka Bridge Bam in the GT. Like, not a good meta, I think, ever for Pekka. Number two, I could tell. Like, you know, he held on well. Just got real lucky in single with that punish. It's going to be 27 wins, guys. That should be a really nice finish, I think. It's 27, so 7. And 7 hours, 7 minutes left in the GT. That's really nice, honestly. So that is going to be it, I think. Um, probably can't play again for a while. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.